Ask an astronomer. Why isn't Pluto a planet anymore? When we ask the question of what is and isn't a planet, we're really just talking about how we define the word planet. In ancient times, we didn't really need a definition. Astronomers noticed five star-like objects, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, that didn't move around with the other stars, but seemed to wander through the sky. The word planet comes from an ancient Greek word that meant wanderer. Eventually, we figured out that the Earth is a planet too, orbiting around the sun just like the others. And that was pretty much it for the solar system until the age of telescopes. The next planet to be discovered was Uranus in 1781, followed by Neptune in 1846. These planets are huge, but just too far away for ancient astronomers to see. But did you know that in 1801, astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi discovered another planet? Or so he thought. Piazzi found a spherical body about 600 miles across, orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. The planet, which is smaller than our moon, was called Ceres. In this case, it wasn't too distant to see, but too small. The problem, however, was that Ceres had buddies. Lots of them. The very next year, a smaller object named Pallas was discovered, and two years after that, another named Juno. We now know about thousands of similar bodies. Instead of adding thousands of new planets to the solar system, astronomers decided it made more sense to group these objects together. They named a new class of objects, asteroids, and Ceres got demoted. Something similar has just happened to Pluto. Astronomer Clyde Tombaugh stumbled across Pluto in 1930, but since then, its status as a planet has been called into question too. First of all, Pluto's orbit is strange, wildly offset from the other planets, and even intersecting the orbit of Neptune. Also, it turns out that Pluto isn't bigger than the Earth, as Tombaugh initially thought. Instead, it's got a huge moon nearby. In fact, some people called it a binary planet or a double planet. And, just like with Ceres, astronomers discovered that Pluto isn't alone. Beginning in the early 1990s, they started finding other objects similar to Pluto. Some, like Quawar and Sedna, were almost as big. Then in 2005, astronomers announced that they'd found an object named Eris even bigger than Pluto. So, are all these planets? Astronomers wondered the same thing. And in August of 2006, astronomers from all over the world met and finally decided on a formal definition of a planet. Pluto and its buddies didn't make the cut, and now they're known as dwarf planets. <laughs> but don't be upset that Pluto isn't a full-fledged planet anymore. Instead, think how exciting it is that there's still so much to learn about the solar system and that science can continue to set the record straight, even when our initial ideas turn out to be wrong. For Ask an Astronomer, I'm Dr. Robert Hurt at the Spitzer Science Center.